And that rock building, what that does, when rock is exposed on the surface of the planet, that rock actually draws carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere. So a major way that, that carbon dioxide is drawn down is by reacting with rock and then being sequestered in the ocean. And that process has, over then millions and millions of years, eventually drawn enough CO2 out of the atmosphere to get CO2 levels low enough to tip us into this ice age. And you might say, well, wow, you know, how did that happen? How, how did that collision sort of change the world? Or how did that collision even start? Well, it turns out that little piece, that Indian subcontinent, and we call it the Indian subcontinent because that's where it is now, <laughs> but that was below the equator down near Madagascar about 65 million years ago when the asteroid hit. And it was zipping northward at a much faster pace than the other tectonic plates were moving around. It was smaller, it was thinner than the other tectonic plates. And those tectonic plates in general, which are where the continents and the oceans uh, crust are, are, are riding on, those were all generated about 140 million years ago when a supercontinent broke up, sort of like the same way a kitchen plate breaks up when it hits the floor into these various pieces. And one of those pieces was that Indian subcontinent, which then sort of raced nor northward relative to the other plates and slammed in to the Asian uh, continent. 